Hello, I'm Linda Bartolucci, and if you're looking for more ways to use your ink, stamps, and scraps, you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my July haul. I can't wait to use these products on new projects. Do me a favor, leave a comment below after you've seen all these products and let me know which one I should use first. And while you're down in the comments, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like, I'd really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, be sure you've subscribed and rung the notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Okay, let's get to it. Let's rip into this box and see what I got. Honestly, it's kind of a surprise for both of us because pretty sure I ordered some just supplies that I need, but I also got new stuff. Ha. Okay. All right, let's go through all this fun stuff. First of all, I got these picture this dies. And the reason that I got these is I just know it's going to aid in me making quick cards. So these are both stitched um shapes there's circles and there's rectangles you could use them individually to make tags and map things but you can also use them together on a card front to just break it up and make it interesting in just one run through your die cutting machine all right looking forward to trying those then i got this cute bundle here we go it goes together like this so this is the um all for baby it's photopolymer set, so it's clear stamps. And I love the phrases in the font. I don't have a baby set right now. And I do have friends of friends, friends of family who are about ready to have some babies. And so I figured it was a good time to get this bundle. I love the onesie and the bib. And then a lot of these are made to cut around the stamps that you see right here. And then there's these cute little pin, um, clothes pins that you can hook on this line right here. Just, I, the ideas are just flowing as I'm looking at this. And who doesn't love a good heart and a couple of stars and a nice little rainbow. So anyway, looking forward to trying this one. I'm sure you'll see some samples soon. All right, the next thing that I got, these are kind of miscellaneous. I got the, in symmetry stamp set because I just love the font um, and I loved the idea of being able to stamp quickly because these are bold stamps use bright colors with them and you can just finish off a card super fast love that then I got these three because they give me some different opportunities to do things this embossing folder is gorgeous I have seen it in use and the thing I love about it, it's called the Pretty Flowers one, and it is super detailed. There are bunches and bunches of flowers. Let me grab a piece of cardstock. And you can see, hopefully much better when I put this Calypso Coral behind it, how, how much there is in terms of greenery as well as the flowers. So there's a lot of things that I can do with this, um, a lot of different techniques, and I'm sure all of my members of Technique a Week are gonna be loving the things I teach you with this folder. That's also why I ended up getting this greenery die, because this again lends itself to not only techniques, but also making super fast cards. Look at how cool this is. It's just stitched vines, it's just gonna make the stitching go into your card layer. It's not gonna go through. It's gonna give you a really fun, awesome background. And again, with just one swipe through your die cutting machine and you're good to go. So I'm looking forward to all the things I can make with this. And then last but not least, years and years ago, we had um, pastels. It's actually the first medium I learned to color with when I started stamping. Not that I didn't know how to use colored pencils and things like that, but this was the first, um, chalk was the first medium that I had never tried before. 
So let's get this open. And so we have brought back our pastels in a very similar fashion to uh, the watercolor pencils. Okay, clearly I didn't quite crack ah, there, through this all the way. So there's an assortment of colors and it crosses all of the color families. It's the chalk sticks are set in this really nice foam. Let me take this off so you can see everything. It might make a little bit of a dusty mess, but hopefully you'll get the idea. Okay, that piece just came off. And here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, there we go. Okay, these are gorgeous. Um, I could guess at the colors. I'm definitely thinking Pacific Point, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, Soft Succulent, Blackberry, Poppy, Curry, and Daffodil. Let's see, how close did I come? Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, okay. So Coastal Cabana, that's that one. Daffodil, there. Gorgeous Grape, so not Blackberry. Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Smith, Mango Melody. Okay, so this one is Mango Melody. And then this is Mossy Meadow, not so Soft Succulent. Night of Navy, I guess this is Night of Navy. Wow, okay, so that must be pretty dark even though it looks really bright. And then Poppy Parade, so I didn't do too bad. I did all right. And that is what I got for my July haul from Stampin' Up. All right, so that's everything for my July haul. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you click the subscribe button and ring the bell so that every time I post a video, you find out about it. Thanks for watching.